Okay. Ready? Hello. So we're going over models. We're going to do vision right now. And so we're going to start with this one. And this first thing we want to do is extrinsic eye muscles. There are six. So you want to think rectus for your uh, the big four. What's nice is superior rectus, inferior rectus. There's a medial and a lateral, and the way that you want to know about the medial is look at the, there's also a superior oblique, inferior oblique. Look at your inferior oblique, and it's going to be pulling towards the lateral side, or it's holding on to the lateral side. So this, did I do that right? This is medial, this is lateral. I think I did that right. Makes sense. Okay. We'll have to check. So it's your job to check. Okay. Now, remember the layers of the eye? So you can look at this and you can look at structures and layers, all right? Layers, this would be which layer? The outside layer would be the fibrous layer. So the fibrous layer would be sclera and then cornea, pretend like it's here, okay? So that's your fibrous layer. I'm gonna take it off, all right? We're taking off that layer. Now, what's the layer that you're seeing right now? This has to be the vascular layer. Sorry, I missed you pointing out the fibrous layer. Oh. The camera wasn't on it. Yep, okay, okay. fibrous. Taking yep. that off, now we're in the second layer, so this has to be the, the vascular layer. So these are the structures of the vascular layer. I'm gonna take it out, okay? And you can see here, this is the iris. Now the iris has two muscles, the inner circular sphincter, so you can call it circular, you can call it constrictor muscle of the iris. Uh, the outside layer is the radial uh, or the dilator, either one. Now, you can see this is the pupil, Okay, I'm gonna actually, and this is choroid. This is choroid, the structure is choroid, right? The layer is vascular, structure is choroid. I'm gonna open that up, and, and just for a moment, we're gonna look inside here at a few things. This is the aura serrata. Look at that serrated uh, uh, delineation between the retina. So this is the retinal layer. This is the retina you're looking at. And then up here, we're really looking, look, this is actually like ciliary body here, okay, that you can see on this side. We're good. Blood vessels. This back here, this is the um, optic nerve, okay? The optic nerve is also the place where you're gonna have a blind spot because it's all just a bunch of axons. The pink is the fovea centralis. All right, it's the place where you have all your rods and most of your rods and cones. Okay, so that's that layer. I want to I want to stop. The the layer also the ciliary body was going to have two parts. It's going to have a part where it's holding on to the lens. So I just want you to imagine that the lens is here, and that's the ciliary body. So the ciliary muscle holds on to the suspensory ligaments, which holds on to the lens. If it was here, okay, and I'll show it to you on the other one. The ciliary process or processes is also in the same spot and it makes aqueous humor, the, the liquid that's in the anterior cavity of the eye, okay, from the lens forward. Mm -hmm. All right, what's the liquid in the back part of the eye, the posterior cavity? That's called vitreous humor. And I actually think that's what they're showing here. Is this, this is, I think we're showing this as liquid, possibly, okay? So the vitreous is it the back part, the posterior cavity of the eye. All right, I think that's pretty good for this model. Now, we're going on to the other model. This model here, look at it here. Okay, so lots of things on this. First, I wanna show you the layers of the retina. So remember, you can say, okay, I've got the three tunics, three layers of the eye. Here's the outer fibrous, middle choroid, and the, the retinal layer is here. And I'm gonna take this retinal layer and I'm gonna blow it up. When I blow that layer up, Okay, I'm gonna blow this layer up. I'm basically taking this and I'm moving it over here. So the light's coming in this way, the light's coming in this way. These are ganglionic cells. The first layer is ganglionic cells, okay? This will go to, these axons will go out to the optic nerve. Second layer, bipolar neurons. Third layer is, these are the rods and cones. These are the photoreceptors. This, what is this layer? I think this is choroid. And then this is pigmented epithelium down here at the bottom. Okay, pretty sure. I think we're doing good. Th okay, so we're gonna go up to here. Now this portion is showing you on the back of the retina a special place. This will begin, this is where all of the ganglionic cells, their axons will go back to the optic nerve. That's this, 
okay? So it's the blind spot. It's where all of the axons go and all the blood vessels come in, okay? Right next to it, that is your fovea centralis. That's another, that's blowing it up, okay? Let's look at the these parts of the eye. We have, we've talked about the layers. This is the posterior cavity. Here's the anterior cavity. Lens, suspensory ligaments. Ciliary body. Don't forget, ciliary body has two parts. Ciliary muscle and ciliary processes. Two parts. Here's the iris on both sides. Um, the cornea. Okay, there's a couple other things on here that we can see. This, um, this whole, um, okay, sorry, I'm, I'm taking a moment. We've got um, eyelids are called palpebra. And we also have, there's a mucous membrane over the eyeball called conjunctiva. So, um, you know, you, you would see a pointer somewhere and it would say something like mucous membrane because that's the mucous membrane. And that's where you'd get pink eye, conjunctivitis. Yes, that's where you get pink eye. Um, there are also, there are also glands that are actually part of your eyelashes called tarsal glands. It, it would be more like, you know, associated out here. I'm not seeing like where we would actually put the sticker, but that, that would be the other gland that we have here. This is the fornix of, um, I'm not sure what's on your checklist, but this is the fornix of this, this, um, where it kind of where the eyelid comes down and around. I think that's good for those structures. Let's, let's go over to the other eyeball nice about this one we've got a few structures that I want to hit that we didn't so I'm not gonna hit I'm not gonna do all the structures that we did in the last one there's a couple structures on this eyeball that is unique so one is here you could put the tarsal glands because you have this structure ah, I just thought of another model okay um, you've got your layers don't forget you can do your muscles you've got the two layers of the iris they're very easy to see on this one okay so don't just put iris you want to put which muscle, right? Constrictor muscle. All right, this is nice. Look, look at the blood vessels coming in out of here. So you know that this one, if it's blood vessels, what does that have to be? That's got to be the that. nerve. Yep, that's the optic nerve. And then next to it, that's where you're going to see all the colors. That's your fovea centralis, okay? Then, um, what? there's another structure on here that you can see here. This is the ciliary body. But right next to it, it's almost, it's faded pretend like that's a hole. See that? That hole is the canal of Schlem. It's an awesome structure, right? And it's going to drain aqueous humor. We'll talk about it in lecture, but that, there is a hole there, I promise. Oh, look, here's the lens. Okay, so it would be held on right here by the suspensory ligaments. And who holds on to the suspensory ligaments? Ciliary processes. So just imagine that they're being held on to. Okay, the lens is being held on to. Okay, uh, I think we're good. Let's see Aura Serrata in here. I think this is pretty good. But what, as we were going through this, there was another model I wanted to show you. Okay. Okay. Hold on. I was checking. Okay. One more. This this model, it's relatively new, so we don't talk about it that much. But we've got we've got some structures on here. See this little fatty looking thing up on the top? It's about the shape of an almond. This is called the lacrimal gland. This makes tears, okay? So the, the tears are gonna wash across the eye. Now, those tears washing across the eye, this is the outside of your eye. They're gonna wash across. And when they rush, wash across, they're gonna come over into a little hole that's right here on the corner of your eye. That little hole is called the punctum, all right, punctum. And when they go into the punctum, they're gonna go into the nasolacrimal duct. And they're trying to show you this duct. It's in, you know, that nasolacrimal duct will go into your nose, into your nasal septum and you, it'll look like boogers, right, when you cry. But it's not boogers. It's just tears that have gone into your nasal lacrimal duct, out your nose. One more thing. The, don't confuse punctum with caruncle. Now, caruncle is the fleshy part. You can see that little pink fleshy part that we have in the, in the corner of our eye. Uh, so the fleshy part is the caruncle. The hole is the punctum. So you just want, you want to remember those two. That's good. This is a good eyeball for that the structures.